Hey guys, Spears here, and welcome back to the episode of GTA 5. Today we're actually going to be making one of my uh, dream garages, so vehicles that I've always wanted to own, uh, and they're all pretty cool. I love that idea though, of, like making a dream garage. It's like, you know, just win the lottery someday, and it's like, that's what I want to do. So we just got a call actually from a uh, new dealership downtown that uh, is taking delivery of all the cars that we ordered. So I think they might have one of them right now. We're going to go get it and uh, try it out. But I, I feel like no garage is complete without a, uh, like a wiener drag car. Also kind of a big issue, you can't see anything in front of you. You should hit that like button if you like superchargers. Alrighty then. Uh, Alright, there's the dealership. I'm literally pulling up to like this really nice, like diamonds everywhere dealership in a drag- oh, I gotta not park it in there. I feel like they're gonna be like, Hey, you gotta get out of here. What are you doing, sir? You can't come in here with that thing. It's like, come on. What do you mean I can't? This is a nice dealership. What? Little diamonds hanging out everywhere. That's kind of weird. I mean, honestly, if I walked by this in real life, I'd just pick it up and take it home. By the way, sorry if I sound weird. Oh, I got a little bit of a cold right now. Look at that. They got me behind this gate, too. Come on now. Let me in. I could probably just buzz. Hey, can I come in, please? <laughs> no, leave. All right. I like how you just put your credit card in there. Look at that. And then you type in your code and you pay for it and it just opens. You pay for the car, not not to open the door. There it is. There's one of the cars anyways. Lamborghini. A 2021 Lamborghini STO. Literally a Lamborghini race car. Honestly, that blue and orange combo with the yellow, it, it doesn't get much better than this. I feel like most people, in your dream garage, you gotta have a Lambo, right? But this dealership, I, I just wanna look at the dealership a little bit longer here. Look at this thing. What is that right there? That's a balloon dog with a cone on its head? That don't make no sense. Uh, the owner of this dealership's a gamer. Oh, he's got little model cars? Toyota Supra? Psh. All right, this guy's cool. This guy's cool. I already transferred him the money, so I'm literally just gonna get in this, because my car. I can, like, smell this interior, man. Well, actually, I can't really smell anything right now, but... It smells like stock market, you know what I mean? Oh, cool, they got a little, like, work area out here to work on the cars. They're not working on my Lamborghini out here, though, I'll tell them that much. Uh, does this just open if I bump into it? Mmm. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it's not a nice dealership. I don't know. I've just casually spent like a million dollars, or well, a couple million dollars with that guy, but it's all good. Uh, anyways, oh look, a UFO. What is that? A UFO up there? I kind of want to take this thing to the uh, pay and spray real quick, and uh, or Los Santos Customs. God, I don't know why I just can't get pay and spray out of my head, man. It's so annoying. Hey, what you do to her now? Oh, a Lamborghini. Okay. Man, I don't know. I feel like this thing in black, like any Lamborghini that is black, just automatically looks like the Batmobile. This thing, uh, well, <laughs> all the doors are open right now, so it doesn't really look like anything, but that looks so cool. I don't know about those seats, though. Those don't look very comfortable, like, at all. It looks like they're made out of concrete, or like, freshly paved road or something. Oh yeah, we slapped a turbo on this thing, too, like you do with any Lamborghini, right? Like, that's the first thing you do. You buy it, and you're like, where do I put the turbo? They're like, in the cup holder? I don't- I don't know, sir. Oh, no way! The- the what?! The gauges work?! First, sec- or second, third, fourth, fifth? That shifts very fast. I didn't even notice that on the little- on the back there. Sorry, sorry. Hey, his insurance company's like, You hit what?! No, 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 I didn't hit him, he hit me! No, 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 my back hurts now. STO in the back there, that's cool. I just gave them my credit card and I was like, here you go, it's like shark cards. It's like, here, just buy whatever, you know, it's fine, doesn't matter. Play a little bit of chicken with the uh, the jet here as he's coming in. He's <laughs> he's he's a little a little sketchy of a landing. Whoa! I don't know how I didn't get crushed right there. I genuinely thought I was gonna get crushed. Don't worry, I got crushed by the fence. Doesn't really matter. Fence is like, hey man, if the plane's not gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. So yeah, that worked. It actually, doesn't look too. Oh, it actually doesn't look too bad as the front looks like it was hit by a cheese grater. But for vehicles. Anyways, 240 miles an hour? Man, that's an easy 300 mile an hour car. Mile per hour. Sorry, I was just doing the math in my head there. I'm not gonna lie, the traction on this thing really isn't there, and it doesn't- it doesn't overly have brakes either. It's not a- not a huge problem, though. Oh yeah, look at that, 260? I'm in the water. I'm not in the water. Oh! Well, that back wheel's just not even working. Look, it doesn't even move, man! Oh god. You know what, at the end of the day, you're still driving a Lamborghini. If, even if it looks like this, psh, who cares, right? Pull up to a car meet. Hey man, wait, whoa! I was gonna say you cut me off, but I'm literally a car driving on an airport, like, runway. And that's, that's, that's a plane, so... <laughs> I'm in the wrong. I mean, look, you, they, they don't even care. They let us on the runway in this busted up Lamborghini. And they just open the gate and close it. They're like, buddy's in a Lamborghini, it's all good. It's all good. You know what's even better, though? A Ferrari. Well, I don't know if it's better. Even the steering wheel's broken? Dude, the steering wheel looks like it's made out of paper mache. 
It's like somebody got some newspapers and they just like spit on them and they're like, yeah, we'll make a newspaper. Oh god. We'll make it we'll make a newspaper uh steering wheel out of this. It'll be great. It's like it's never gonna break, right? No, for sure. Oh, perfect timing. Literally just got a text that my new car has been delivered. Um just gonna leave this one here, I think. No, I'll, I'll drive it to the dealership. I'll drive it. I'll just tell them to fix it. That's fine. It's not my it's not my fault. It, I literally just picked it up and it came like this, so maybe it fell off the truck. I don't know. I'm just gonna park it like everybody else parks down here. There we go. Perfect. Love it. Right in the middle. This next car is actually like relatively new. There it is right there. It's a Ferrari F8. Look at that thing, dude. Even between these bars, it looks good. I feel like a white Ferrari just looks so... I mean, any Ferrari in gen... Oh. <laughs> I just walked through the window. Alrighty then. I feel like any Ferrari just in general looks rich, but like in white? Like, look at that. It looks so clean. This is a nice looking car. Very nice. I feel like I need to... Is that a sign that I need to back it out of the window? I feel like that is. Just picked up my new Ferrari from the, the dealership. What are you doing with it? Oh, I just drove it out of the dealership through a window that I broke by walking into it. That UFO is still up there, man. What is that? I'm driving up there. I'm driving up there to see if that's a UFO. I, I, it's, it's bothering me. What if they're just watching me like, hey, where'd this guy get all that money? Look at that thing. Is it a, is it a manhole cover or a UFO? I can't tell. All right, we got to drive up through the hills. That's good, though, because it gives us, a, gives us a chance to test drive this thing a little bit, especially on the hills. It already feels like it handles a little bit better than the Lamborghini, which is weird, because the Lamborghini is literally a race car. This, not so much. But I feel like in your in your dream garage, you need to have sort of a like a, a convertible or like a spider. Not like a spider, like the insect. Ugh, ugh. Yucky, <laughs> right? That dog agrees. He's like, yeah, man, gross. Ew. Oh, he's just, what is he doing? All right, we can, we can see it now. What? It's a mirror. That's got to be a mirror. Who puts a big house size mirror in the sky? I am so confused right now that it's not funny. I actually really don't like convertibles, but this, this isn't bad. You know, it's, it doesn't look super weird. It's proportioned nicely. It's all about proportions with me, man. I've realized that over the years that like, I like vehicles that look super, super normal, like proportion well, uh, or, or if they look good, not proportioned, that's fine too. Just as long as it looks good, you know? Wow, that's really cool, Spears. You like a car that looks good. That's so, so quirky of you. Wow. Hey, don't be sarcastic with me, man, all right? I'm not in the mood right now. Do you hear me? I'm all stuffed up. I feel like I can hear everything. We're gonna take the- <sighs> I just can't have nice things. I literally just can't have nice things. That's what that means. I am gonna take this to the Los Santos Customs and we're gonna see if I can do maybe a little color swap on it because I feel like there's a color that'll look way better than white. White looks great though, right? Right? The yellow a little bit? I just opened the hood and it flew off, so that's probably not good, but you get, you get the gist, right? I think the yellow is, uh... Just with the yellow Ferrari badges and the yellow stitching on the inside. I mean, it's a it's a lot of yellow, but yellow's not a bad color. The back, I feel like the back of this is probably my favorite. Like, mm, is it? I'm really pumped for the next car that we're going to check out, but uh, saving the best for last. Air quotes. What's your guys' favorite, like, car manufacturer? Like, like uh, Dodge, Ferrari, Lamborghini, like, Chevy. What do you guys like, Ford? There's a lot more that I haven't named, and I'm going to upset somebody, but there we go. That's better. Now you, now you can see it with the hood on. Just had to order a new hood really quick. That's all. No, no big deal. I'm sure the hood on this car probably costs more than, uh, I don't know, a house? Like, not a big house. Doesn't have to be, like, a crazy nice house. Just, like, maybe a two-bedroom, you know, one bath kind of thing, little bungalow type deal. Uh, remember I said the Lamborghini didn't handle as good as this? I, I think I'm lying. This this kind of handles like a convertible sports car. Supercar. Car. The interior does look really dated, kind of. I mean, it has a digital da di digital gauge. Whoa. Sorry, my tongue doesn't work. But I I'm talking like the, the middle part here. I don't I don't really like that that RPM gauge. This looks a little little old to me. Also, let's be honest, th this is why you buy a car like this. You literally just to drive it through like shopping areas and people jump scared of you because you're probably not supposed to be driving on the road that you're on. So, mm. something I think the Lambo got up to like 280, 280 miles an hour or something like that. Uh, this, oh, this is going to be significantly less, I think. That's a big word for you, Spears. Thank you. I feel like I never go on a highway in this game, ever. And it, it, it's a pretty good place to test top speeds of cars. Like, it's a little bit more exciting than the airport, because with the airport, it's there's not really any danger. You know, other than getting crushed by like a 9 million pound uh, jet, or, you know, you can run into a Toyota Corolla, and uh, that happens. Love it. For me, uh, looks about like 160? 160? Well, maybe more than that, actually. Yeah, like 170. It's probably going to keep going. 
But like 180 miles per hour for any car is is fast. Like 280, I feel like that's too much. You know, who's who's ever going to do that? Like when you buy a Bugatti, it's like they're oh top speed 300 miles an hour. It's like wh- wh- when are you going to get that? I got to go to 7-Eleven, babe. I'll be right back. Zoom. You know, if you crash doing a doing 300, you turn into jelly. I'm pretty sure, like legitimate jelly. You just you know, it's just like that. Just like that. I don't know. It's not. I mean, I've I've crashed before, but not doing 300. And I'm, I'm still alive. That's good. Probably. Yeah, it's debatable. Every day I think about it. I'm like, what is it? Is it, is it good? No, it's bad. Whoa! Get out of the road, buddy! What are you doing? Oh! Oh, no! Oh, he got up! Oh, my... Oh, it's a zombie! He's got re... Alright. That thing literally just got squished and bounced up. He's like, I'm fine! Hold on, sir. I got a question for you real quick. Hop out. I just need to see something. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, you need to stop. Stop. Uh, uh, I'm good. I'm fine. Everything is hurting, but I'm good. Oh, God. I probably shouldn't have done this on the highway. That's that was probably like a my bad type thing, but never mind. I was trying to see if I could open the uh, the back tailgate there and put this car on the back. That, that, that would look pretty cool, but uh, I can't. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this thing in the middle of the highway along with my hat and everything because that's great. Hey, I'm not the bad guy there. Oh, hey, officer, how's it going? Whoa! I just hit some genie sand there or something. I don't know what that was. That was dangerous. Slid all over the highway. I still- I feel like I would take the Lamborghini over this, but I'm pretty sure that I would take this next vehicle over both of these. Well, it would be a toss-up. Um, I still haven't gotten the call yet, but, uh, hopefully we do- I'm just gonna pull over and wait until he calls us, cause, you know. All right, he didn't call us, he texted us. Nice. I can't even get a call nowadays. It's ready. Our car's ready to be picked up. Our new one. Not- not this one. Another one. Not- not another Ferrari, but... Saving the best for last. I'm just kidding. It's not- it's not the best. I just, like, I have a soft spot in my heart for them. They're cool, they're big, they're heavy, they- they make cool sounds. It's kind of like me, you know? Cool, I'm big, heavy, make cool sounds. You see what I mean? Like, ooh, I'm so excited. There it is, bro. The Dodge Demon. I feel like it doesn't get much cooler than like a huge, heavy muscle car that does nine second quarter miles, you know, right off the showroom floor. Big, stupid, heavy muscle car. Look at this thing. That is so cool, man. Uh, it's crazy. These things are like $200,000, too. That's so insane. But, uh, I mean, they're rare, right? I've never even seen one in person. Vin Diesel also likes them, so that's gotta be- that's gotta mean something. Instantly, that means something. Family. Dodge. Ooh, you know what? Hold on, I'm gonna open the hood. Oh, oh. yeah, they did it. Look at that. Dude, oh, it's got the air grabber sticker on there and everything. That's what that thing is right there, it's a little air grabber. It grabs the air. <laughs> drinks it up. The interior, super nice. You know, driving one of these is literally like driving a big, like, comfy couch. Like, think about the most comfortable thing you've ever sat on. That's what it's like driving. Whew. And I, you know what? <laughs> I was gonna say the interior on this thing, I wonder what that smells- I know exactly what it smells like. Cause I've owned a few Challengers, like Challenger Hellcats and like, Challenger Hellcat Red Eyes and- A, a Red Eye is basically a Dodge Demon without being called a Dodge Demon, so... Yeah, I've- I've- they're- they're so fun. So- except for that. We definitely gotta lower this thing, bro. Hopefully the, uh, the Los Santos Customs guy can- can do something, cause- it, 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 They're heavy. Like, they're super heavy. But, like, the cool thing about this car is- you see what I mean? Th that's how heavy it is. It wants to roll over like a truck. What brings you in today? Oh! Dodge Demon! No way! He's like, this guy gets all the cars. Uh, armor upgrade, sure. Brakes, uh, engine, all that good stuff. Suspension, the lowering it helps. Put a turbo and a supercharger, cause why not? Some window tint, cause yup. Uh, I feel like for Hellcats in general, like, any green, like on a Challenger, looks good. Like, this just looks so funny. It's just a massive vehicle painted lime green. Like, seeing this drive down the road, I mean, I've seen this color in person on them before. It's so funny, because it's so bright, it literally looks like the sun is rolling down the road. I mean, it's the same size as the sun. S excuse me, sir. You know what does kind of suck, though? We can't hear the supercharger whine in this thing. And that's the nicest thing about Hellcats in general, and like, Dodge Demons and stuff, is the supercharger whine. is so loud. Um, if you don't know what supercharger whine is, it's just like, me like that. That's what it sounds like when you're- when you're pressing the gas pedal. It's so cool. 
doing that like with my voice, that didn't sound very cool, but it, it does in person. Yeah, by the way, the dealership just texted me. There's another version of it there uh, that they just got in. It's a police version, so I just want to look at that real quick. I mean, I don't know what police station can afford a Dodge Demon as a, like a patrol car, but <laughs> sign me up. I feel like that's not a real police vehicle. I don't know about- I don't know about you guys. Who- what- what- Why does it have the lights down at the bottom like that? It looks like underglow. I mean, it's got two at the front, too, like in the- in the- the mirrors? Visors? Oh, and in the back. Yeah, that's cool. That is really cool. There's really not much getting away from this. Like, if you were like, hey, you know what, maybe I'll just run, and they can't catch me. It's like, uh... Bad idea, bad idea. That's cool, though. I mean, it's literally just this with some- some, uh, police lights on it. Which, uh, that's pretty cool to me. I, I swapped out. I, sw I swapped out for this one. This, I feel like this is a little bit cooler, just because of the lights. That's it. And, like, if you have the lights going, people tend to, like, get out of your way faster. I mean, unless you come up behind them doing, like, 180 and they just can't... Well, you know what? That guy did it. So did that guy. Uh, that's much better. Life hack. Just police lights on your, on, your, on your vehicle and you're good to go. Super illegal, and I'm pretty sure you go to jail nine times out of ten for all that, but... I love how everybody is moving out of the way, and that sucks. Wow. As soon as I say that. I mean, he tried to move out of the way. Bro. <laughs> oh, the gauge actually works, too? Oh, uh, it stops at 180 miles per hour, but we're doing, like, 218. Bro, doing this much in a Challenger? Mm, oh, my God. Not fun. Not fun. At all. Like, when you do, a, like, even 150 or 140 miles per hour in a Challenger, things just start to shake. And it's like super scary. Like the front end will start to vibrate. It's not good. It's not good. It's fun though. It's like, am I gonna die? Maybe. Like, anyways, yeah, guys, post your favorite uh, car that I used in today's video down in the comments. Uh, and if you enjoyed, hit that like button. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.